Elena Cassis is in central Paris following Saturday's anniversary protest for us. Hi, Elena. Um, one thing that's striking that one of our producers pointed out is that there are so few yellow vest uh, protesters wearing yellow vests. Why do you think that is? So they're trying to go in plain clothes in order to stop themselves being prevented by the police from accessing the demonstration sites. So earlier this morning on the Champs Elysees, we saw probably more riot police than passers-by, tourists or protesters. And what they were doing was stopping everyone who was going past with a backpack and searching it for a yellow vest people who had them had them confiscated and the police were also confiscating protective glasses uh, masks that people had brought to help them cope with tear gas anything which looked like the person was planning on going to the demonstrations uh, and some of them also were getting substantial fines the police were handing out fines of anything from 135 up to more than 300 euros for people who were carrying things which according to the police gave them a, uh, an idea or a reason to believe that they might be planning to go to the demonstration. Now, many of the people that we spoke to who had had their items confiscated were furious about this, saying that the police can't confiscate things and give people fines if they haven't actually committed a crime yet. But certainly these protesters are very aware that these protests are banned today. There was one that was authorised uh, in the Place de l'Italie, uh, where we were a short time ago, uh, last hour, but that has now been banned by the police because of violent incidents between protesters and police officers. So these people know that they're taking part in a banned demonstration, and that's why they're trying to go incognito. And of course, in response to uh, them lighting things on fire, blocking the streets, the police are responding with tear gas and shooting uh, high-paced water cannons at them. Now listen, I, I remember a while back when the Yellow Vest movement was in full sp uh, swing months ago, French police were criticized for their seeming brutality against protesters. What do you make of their reaction today, the reaction of the police, that is? So the police are under very tight scrutiny precisely because they did crack down so hard on the yellow vest demonstrators at the end of last year and at the beginning of this year. It is, has always been a relatively small movement in terms of the numbers of people involved. But in terms of the injuries, uh, the, the figures are astonishing. Uh, 24 people have lost an eye throughout the yellow vest demonstrations. Over 800 say they were injured uh, by police, by rubber bullet launchers or by police batons. Uh, and more than 4,000 people have been arrested uh, as a result of this. Uh, so the police crackdown has been extremely harsh. That's been deliberate from the beginning. Uh, the government did want to put people off participating in this protest. Uh, but police tactics now are supposed to be more preventative. That's what they're aiming to do by stopping people, for example, at the entrance to the Champs Elysees, searching them and confiscating anything that they could use as a weapon. It aims to dissuade people from continuing to protest, also by applying those large fines. I was just talking about. So what we've seen so far today certainly hasn't been, certainly what, what our team has seen, and as far as I'm aware, hasn't been comparable with some of the worst of the police violence that we saw at the end of last year, but we've certainly seen plenty of tear gas.